Okay, so in this session, we're gonna be looking at exporting a PDF from InDesign. You've already learned how to place an image and text on your portfolio pages, how to style things, how to use colors, how to position things. That's 90% of what you need to do in InDesign to build a portfolio. The last thing you need to know how to do is how to get out of InDesign by exporting a PDF. You might be exporting a PDF for print, you might be exporting it to view digitally and submit for your course, and I'll go through all the settings that you need to make your life much easier for that. So let's get going. Okay, so we've got our example portfolio here, and there's quite a few images on here. The more images you have, the larger your file is going to be. So you need to control the quality of those images. So the first thing to do is to go to the file menu and go down to export there. So for me, it's command E or control E on a PC, and you're gonna hit export to export a file. And the first thing it's gonna do is say, where would you like to export this PDF? and I'm gonna select my PDF exports folder. So we wanna make sure we're saving our files to the same place in a logical way, and I'm gonna click Save. And it will open up the Export PDF panel, which allows you to set all of the options that you need to export a PDF. And the first thing I want to do is make sure all pages are selected. I could select a range of pages, and I could type in you know, page three to page five and only export those pages, but I wanna export all the pages. And what usually it does is selects the default preset, Adobe preset high quality print. So that should be a 300 DPI document. It's good enough to print off. It's a high quality document. So if I do that, if I select all pages under high quality print and I just export the default for now, let's see what it's gonna do. I get a little spin wheel at the top here. And if I click on that, I can even view the progress. Let's close that now. And let's jump over to our file browser to see that file now. So if I come to my PDF exports folder, you can see I've got this file here and you can see it's 20.4 megabytes, which is quite big. This is only 10 pages or so. So if I was printing this PDF, that's not really a problem. But if my portfolio ends up being 100 pages long or 80 pages, that's gonna become a really big file size. And for a lot of universities, I can't submit a file that big. So what we want to do is work on reducing this file size and you can do that directly in InDesign. And now what I'm gonna do in my export options is change some of these settings. So you can see currently it's got the default high quality print. I'm gonna change it now. So if I go to compression, which is the first spot, you can see the default for high quality print is 300 DPI, 300 pixels per inch on my document. Now there's a few ways I can reduce the file size. I can either reduce the DPI or I can start compressing the images. So the default image quality is maximum which is depending on how big the image is on the page, it's gonna go up to 300 DPI in resolution and it's gonna be maximum quality. Now I can just reduce the quality to high, export that and let's see how big that file goes. And you can see here, portfolio two is slightly smaller. It says 18.5 megabytes as opposed to the original, which is 20.4. So we've saved two megabytes just by reducing that down. And let's try a different compression setting. Let's go down to medium compression. And you can see it says high quality print modified now. That's because we've made changes here. Let's say export that. And if we jump to our file browser, let's have a look at example three. This has come down by another couple of megabytes. And I've just opened portfolio example three to show you that the quality of the portfolio is still really good. I am compressing those images, they're medium, but you can't really tell. Like it looks absolutely fine on a screen. Maybe if I was printing it, I might have issues. And I should point out, that this effect on the hand is intentional. A texture has been added for style reasons, but the actual image quality is still very good and I'm very happy with it. If we jump back to InDesign and let's try another export again, I'm gonna to come to compression and now what I'm gonna do is change the resolution. So let's say I go from, from 300 down to 150. So any image that is higher than 150 pixels per inch is gonna get reduced down here. Let's do 150 across the board all the way down these and make sure these are still set to medium and now I'm gonna export again. And here we are, I'm gonna select example four, and you can see example four has gone down all the way to 3.2 megabytes. That is a massive reduction in file size from the original 20 down to three megabytes, okay? So maybe I've, I've compressed it a little bit too much, we'll see. Let's launch this file. And you can see even by launching portfolio example four, these images are still pretty good. There's not really a massive issue with them. I'd still be happy to submit this. 
And that's it. That's how you export from InDesign. So what I recommend you do is when you've finished your portfolio and you're ready to export it, fiddle around with those settings, play with the resolution, play with the image compression, and get a file that is just below your university's maximum file size that they usually have. And that way you know your images are as high quality as possible, but you're not going to have a problem with your submission. In the next session, we're going to be looking at some more advanced options with text frames and things like that. So I'll see you in the next one.